It is impossible to please God without faith. Today, I want to give you guys three ways to step out in faith and trust God. Hebrews 11 verse 1 tells us that faith is confidence in what we hope for and the assurance about what we do not see. It is the ability to not lean on your sight, but to walk by faith. Too many of us want to stay where it is comfortable, which tells God that you do not trust him. So here are three ways to step out in faith. Number one is to face your fears. Fear keeps you captive. Fear holds you back from what God has for you. The Bible tells us in 2 Timothy that God does not give us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and love. So every time that we operate out of that spirit of fear, we're not operating out of a spirit from God. Even when you don't know what's up ahead, you have to take that leap of faith and trust God. Fear will hold you back from what God has for you. In the book of Matthew, Peter decided to face his fears by walking out on water towards Jesus. Sometimes we have to get out of the boat and face our fears and trust God. He's not going to let you fall. Surrender your fears to God. I created a list of certain fears that I wanted to over overcome because I knew that as long as they were fears, they had power over me. So take back your authority that we are given in Christ and face your fears. Fear is not from God. Stand on God's truth, which is his word. Just focus your eyes on Jesus. Don't worry about what it looks like. Don't worry about what you can see and just focus on Jesus. Number two is to rely on God's strength, not our own. Proverbs 3 verse 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Too many of us are leaning on our own understanding of things. We are leaning on our own wisdom instead of trusting in God. Lean on God's strength. So even if you feel that you can't do something or that you're not strong enough it is because you're not leaning on God's strength you're leaning on your own strength with God nothing is impossible Philippians 4 13 tells us I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me be dependent on God and trust in his strength not your own and number three submit to God's will for your life too many of us have this idea of how we think our life should go or how we think our life should look instead of trusting that God knows what's best for us sometimes what we want is not what God knows we need. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 25 tells us that the foolish plans of God are wiser than the wisest of human plans. God's weakness is stronger than the greatest of human strength. Jeremiah 29 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. God has a plan over every single one of our lives. So it is time that we let go of control of what we want our lives to look like or what we want our lives to be and instead just yield and surrender to God's will. The most powerful thing that you can do is pray for God's will to manifest over your life and to surrender the plans that you had for yourself. Remember, God knows best. He is all-knowing, okay? He has the perfect plan for our lives, and we need to be obedient in allowing Him to guide us. And this pleases the Lord when you trust in Him to guide your life and to have His way in your life. Be obedient to God and allow Him to be in control, full control. 